guys, Robert here. Did you know that you can stream PC VR games to your headset wirelessly? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's nothing new, right? Even I knew about it when, before I got my quest, but what I didn't know is that it's super simple to get into and set up. So I've been using it, playing it, and it plays just as smoothly using Oculus Link. And here's why I prefer using the instead of using Oculus Link. The image quality is identical, if not exactly the same. And the second of all, the Oculus Quest is supposed to be VR headset that's the standalone, right? It's supposed to be wireless. So being able to play PC VR games wirelessly is a lot nicer than being tethered to a cable. Like, this cable is not even long. It's like three meters, right? When I'm gonna plug in my, my cable into the PC, I'm also losing like, half a meter of cable, so that leaves me with 2.5 meters cable left. And 2.5 meters of cable, using that, it's, it's not a lot, right? But I also get tangled in my cable a lot of times when I play the game. But that's why I was looking for a wireless solution. And here's how you can use it as well. First, we're gonna start with what you need to be able to use this wireless feature, right? You need a program, Virtual Desktop. And so you wanna buy the program in your Quest library, because if you buy it on your Oculus library, they don't have any crossplay, you won't be able to use it vice versa, right? So make sure you buy the virtual desktop on your Oculus Quest or your Oculus Quest uh, store. And that costs about $20. And what else? You don't really need it, but I recommend a 5 gigahertz wireless connection to your Quest, because 2.4 gigahertz can be usable. I haven't tested it yet, but a faster connection gives a lot more stable gameplay. Fast router with a 5 GHz wireless connection to your Quest. That's everything you need. And a gaming PC, of course, but that's a given, right? I mean, you can't play on your on your mother's laptop. I mean, come on, man. So the next thing you want to do is download it onto your Quest and download it onto your PC. And you want to download it from the virtual desktop website. I'm gonna link it into the description below, so you can download it from there. So you download the streamer app, install it onto your computer, you're almost good to go. Then what you want to do is connect to the same internet that your PC is with your Oculus Quest. And then you open virtual desktop onto your Quest and it will provide you with your Oculus username. So you put in your Oculus username onto the Quest and onto the PC VR desktop. And once you've connected it to your virtual desktop, then voila, you're ready to go. You're there. So let me show you how this actually works. And now, I'm gonna enter the rift. And so you open it onto your computer like that on your PC. You see it watching? Oh yeah! I really enjoy that you like my content here on YouTube and keep watching my stuff. And so if you want to help the channel out, leave a like and comment because that makes the blue blue YouTube configurating, putting my videos up there so more people can find my beautiful videos and read your beautiful comments. I really like your comments. Your comments are awesome guys. So do that and we're Gucci. Okay, now we're in here into the quest. Okay, so now the quest is important. You can see what I'm doing here. Uh, all right, so we're gonna open up virtual desktop onto the quest, which you have hopefully installed on your quest store, right? So you go here into your apps and you will see uh, uh, there, virtual desktop. So you open that up. Uh, oh yeah, you need controllers. Where's my controllers? Oh, no, that's a cable. <laughs> I swear to God, that's it. Fuck up. It is connected and boom, here we have. Here we have some settings. Uh, yeah, some tips. Use the codec H264. I recommend that. Here you can see your latency. So you go in your games. You can see your games here. And this is your games from both Steam. So Skyrim VR, Prey. These are my Steam games. You can see here Steams and your Oculus games. So right now, you can, if you want, play your Oculus games and everything right through here. Uh, so settings. I want to give you some tips on the settings. Uh, I use insane, but I recommend people to use high because uh, too high bit rates will lag out your game. Uncheck this if this is checked out. Yeah, I'd limit, I'd limit my bit rate to. I use high. Insane will get up to 30, but that's too much of a lag, so high setting is a good setting. And here you can launch the Steam VR through here as well. We're gonna try out Blade and Sorcery. Because that's the game I was looking forward to with the Oculus Link, but now I can do it wirelessly. It's pretty cool. Go to games, and I think that's play that sorcery, right? So when I play a game or enter Steam VR, it's gonna go in full screen, full VR mode, right? So now I'm in VR mode. Oh! Hello there, mighty sir. Oh, Jesus, wait, it's not my arms. <laughs> See that, guys? I'm playing 
PC VR game wirelessly on my Quest and it was super easy to set up. Now you go do it as well and you go bust some A's in this cool game. Ba, 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 da, da, da. So What's that?